Hi, Strawberry. Do you want to play football? We can't. We have to do wand practice. Up and down. Up and down. Aren't you supposed to be gentle with your wands? It's OK. Wands are very strong. You don't want to break them. Don't be silly. They never break. Show him, Holly. Hit your wand on that rock. OK. <gasps> oh, dear. Holly, Strawberry, how's wand practice going? Uh, not very well. Holly's broken her wand. How did that happen? I was waving it very gently and she bashed it on a rock. That wasn't very clever. Sorry, Nanny. Not to worry. We'll just get it mended. Hooray! Are you going to mend it with magic, Nanny? Oh, no. I can't mend it. Why not? Wands make magic, but magic can't make wands. It's like chickens and eggs. Chickens make eggs, but eggs don't make chickens. But eggs do make chickens. Whatever. The important thing is, I can't mend wands by magic. So, who can mend it? The elves that made it. Elves? Do elves make wands? Of course they do. Everyone knows that. Elves are very good at making wands. And we're elves. <laughs> <laughs> to the elf factory. Look, Nanny, wands are magic. And elves don't do magic. Elves don't use the wands, Holly. They just make them. Good morning. Can I help you? Um, I've broken my wand. She bashed it on a rock. One more. Hooray! Now, we just have to get Ben turned back into Ben again. I've got a very good idea. If we both do a spell together, yes, that would be fun. Abraka Zabadi. Oh, that was disgusting. I was a little bird and I was eating worms. Oh, I don't think our spell is quite finished. Ben's turned into a rabbit. Ah. Oh. Now he'll hop off somewhere and we'll have to find him all over again. <sighs> We're not having a good day. What about poor Ben? Goodness me, Holly. I've been looking everywhere for you. Sorry, Nanny. But Ben kept wandering off and we had to keep finding him. I see. So where's this frog that needs to be turned back into Ben? Uh. Here. But that's a rabbit. Ben was a frog, then a bird, and now he's turned himself into a rabbit. We've tried everything. Well, it just shows that you both need a lot more spell practice. Yes, yes Nanny, Nanny Plum. Plum. Fairies of your age really should be able to get a simple spell right. Yes, yes Nanny, Nanny Plum. Plum. Watch and learn. When you turned Ben into a frog, Abracazobadee. You should not have turned him into a bird. Zabadizee. And certainly not into a rabbit. Abracazabadee. No, at the start, you should have made him Ben again. Abracazobadee Zabadizee. Hooray! For you, I'm glad that's over. You see, girls, it's easy. Anyone can do it. Where are we going? Nanny Plum, what's the first bit of work I'm doing today? You're launching an elf boat, Your Majesty. How do you launch a boat? I'll show you. Princess Holly and King Thistle. Hooray! Hooray! This is where I make a speech. <clears throat> well done, elves, for building this boat. It uh, looks like a good one. And I'm sure you will have a lot of uh, fun with it. Jolly good show. Now we smash a bottle of sparkling fairy juice against the side of the boat. Oh, 
But where is the fairy juice? <laughs> Sorry, Your Majesty. We're very busy today. Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. Got a dash. On to our next delivery. Bye, Holly. Bye. <laughs> I declare this elf boat well and truly launched. <laughs> Daddy, what do we do now? We shake hands and ask questions. Hello. And what do you do? I hammer metal, Your Majesty. How very interesting. Hello. And what do you do? I'm the ship's cook, Your Majesty. How very interesting. <laughs> and what do you do? I'm the captain, Princess Holly. How very interesting. Daddy, can we ride on the boat? Please. Good idea, Holly. I never get to try these things. Captain, would it be possible to ride on your boat, please? It would be an honour, Your Majesty. <whistles> to you, Ben. <laughs> to you, Gaston. <laughs> <laughs> to you, Ben. Oh, sorry. Holly, have you magicked the ball into this? No, that's not our ball. Look. <whistles> so what's this then? It looks like an egg. I wonder where it came from. There's no trees here. Maybe it flew. Eggs don't fly, Holly. Magic eggs might fly. Hmm. Maybe it's a dragon's egg. Hmm. Gaston, do you know what kind of egg it is? Oh, oh. I think that means no. Oh. I know. We can ask Nanny Plum. Good idea. Da da doo dum da dee da. Dum da dum dum da dee da. Da 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 dum da dee da dee. Nanny da, Plum, da. quick! Oh goodness me! What is it? We found a magic egg. Or a dragon's egg. Come on, we'll show you. Most interesting. An egg. Hmm. Here's the magic egg, Nanny. Look, I won this trophy for the high jump last year. Wow! If you really want a trophy, you can have one. Abracazoo, abracazap, for Princess Holly a fancy cup. Yippee! I've won a trophy. Hooray! You can't just magic up a trophy. You have to work for it. I did work for it. I didn't get this good at doing spells without lots of practice. Well, I've got to go and practice my running and jumping. Good luck, Ben. Bye, Holly. See you later. Welcome to the Elf Games. Please remember the Elf rules. No cheating and no... Excuse us, please. Fairy Princess coming through. Carry on, Mr Old Elf. Ah, good day, Mistress Plum. Hi there. For the benefit of the <coughs> fairies amongst us, may I remind you there is to be strictly no magic and absolutely no flying. Dear me, I was right. This is going to be boring. Now to our first event, running. Look, there's Ben. On your marks, get set, go. <laughs> We'll soon sort that out. May I? Thank you. Try this, Princess Holly. Ben! Ben! <gasps> what? Go on, Ben! 
a mole, Your Majesty. Well, get rid of it. We've been trying to chase it away all morning, Your Majesty. Don't you know how to get rid of moles, wise old elf? Uh, no. Then who does? Nanny Plum. She can talk to it. She speaks all animal languages. Of course. Nanny! Yes, Your Majesty? Ah, Nanny Plum. You talk to animals, don't you? Yes, Your Majesty. Then can you tell this mole to leave my golf course? Uh, no, Your Majesty. What? I can't speak mole. It's one of the more difficult animal languages, along with aardvark. But can't you use magic to get rid of the mole? There is one magical method to get rid of moles, but unfortunately, it uses a gnome. What's that? A gnome, Your Majesty, is a sort of elf with a big tummy. What? Gnomes are nothing like elves. They eat too much, talk too much, and never do any work. I don't care what you use, just get rid of that mole. OK, I'll fetch us a gnome. Where am I? Hello, Mr Gnome. I've called you here to get rid of some moles. It will be my pleasure. I like trees, they're not like peas. Custard creams or goo. I'll sing my song and strum along with a fold de do de do Well, that was easy, wasn't it? Thank you, Gnome. How much do I owe you? Oh, I'm not finished yet, Your Majesty. If I go now, the mole will come back. It's a thing. What did you do that for? I was trying to help you win. I was winning. It was your shouting that made me lose. Sorry, Ben. Not to worry. Maybe there's some other little game you can have a go at. Will all competitors please get ready for the next event? The high jump. You're very good at jumping, Ben. You'll easily win. I hope so. I hope so too. There's nothing worse than a grumpy elf. The first competitor is Lizzie Elf. Now, for last year's high jump champion, Ben Elf. Good luck, Ben. Yes, you can do it. Hoopla! Hooray! Phew, I didn't think he was going to do it. Another excellent jump. Now, for our final competitor, Barnaby Elf. Bad luck, Barnaby. We're down to the last two for the high jump trophy. I hope Ben doesn't knock the pole off. As long as they don't put it up any higher, I'm sure he'll be fine. Oh, dear. Lizzie Elf. Come on, Lizzie. Jump high. <gasps> <gasps> now, Ben Elf. If he loses, he's going to be really upset. Don't worry. We'll give him a little bit of magical help. But, Nanny, magic isn't allowed. Relax. No one will notice. Are you sure no one will notice, Nanny? Trust me. Ready? Steady? Go! <laughs> Gaston showing us some tricks. Good idea, Ben. We can sit and watch for a bit. Look, 
Kitty Caterpillar is sad. <laughs> I think she feels a bit left out. <laughs> How to cheer her up. Oh, good. Go on then, Ben. <laughs> Don't be sad, Betty. Flying isn't everything. Elves can't fly, and I'm an elf. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't cheer her up much. <laughs> Maybe I can make her fly by magic. Can you do that? Um, I think so. Abracadabra. Fly, Betty, fly! <laughs> wow! It worked! <laughs> oh! I didn't expect that to happen! We need to rescue her! I could do another spell! No, no! I've got a better idea! Someone has been using magic. He knows. OK, but he doesn't know it was me. Mistress Palum. Um, hello? I'll take that wand, if you please. And Ben Elf, you are disqualified from the high jump. But that's not fair. The rule book clearly says... Magic is not allowed at the Elf Games. But it wasn't Ben's fault. It was my idea. Sorry, Ben. We were worried you wouldn't win. I could have won the race and the high jump. Now I'm not going to win anything. Take your partners, please, for our final event, <laughs> the Wheelbarrow Race. <laughs> oh, dear. Ben doesn't have a partner. Can I be your partner, Ben? I promise I won't use magic or flying. No! You've already messed things up enough. Please, Ben. I know I'll be good at it. Uh, what is a wheelbarrow race? <laughs> this is how you do it. <laughs> I'm really good at walking on my hands. It's just like gymnastics. OK, then. My goodness! A fairy! Oh, well. The rule book doesn't say a fairy can't race. On your marks! Get set! Go! Holly's broken her wand! She bashed it on a rock! I see. Not to worry. We'll just mend it. Follow me. Now you will need these hard hats. Ooh. <laughs> we'll be taking the train. Ooh. All aboard. Hold tight, everyone. We're going deep down. How deep down? Level 500. The Wand Factory. <laughs> level 500? It's the deepest level there is. Why is the Wand Factory so deep underground? Because wands are magic. And elves don't like magic. So we built the Wand Factory as deep underground as possible. <laughs> My tummy. Now, what's wrong with your wand? It broke itself. She bashed it on a rock. Yes, yes, but we need to find out exactly what's wrong with your wand. Ooh. The X-ray shows it needs a new stick and a cog service. This way, this is the stick house, where we grow wooden sticks for wands. But there are loads of sticks just lying around in the meadow. Ah, but the stick for a wand must be specially grown. And made from the right type of tree. Correct, Nanny Plum. The wood for my wand comes from a plum tree. 
because I am Nanny Plum. Spinny Ickle Poo Clam, please. Spinny Ickle Poo Clam. Wooble Cone. Wooble Cone. It all looks very complicated. Bending a wand head is a mixture of surgery and watchmaking. Ah! The Fidge Fudge Rotter Whistle Stick. Whistle Stick. Interesting. That doesn't sound right. Very good. Hooray! Can we go home now? Not yet, Nanny Plum. Holly's wand needs testing. To the testing room. The wand testing room. It is the safest place to do magic in the kingdom. Why do you need a special room to do magic? We don't want the magic leaking out and causing trouble. Where's the fun in that? Magic is not meant to be fun. Safe and sensible magic is what we do here. What's he doing? He's setting up the testing robot to do a magic spell. What's that? Lemonade! We're going to test the wand by turning the lemonade into something else. Is it going to turn into a golden coach? Or a monster with a hundred eyes and three legs? <laughs> Wait and see. The lemonade has turned into water. Daddy told us to feed Betty, but now she's so big, she'll never fly. Daddy must be wrong. Holly, Daddy's never wrong. He's a king and he's very, uh, wise. But how will Betty fly? Wait and see. Good night, Holly. Good night, Mummy. But how will Betty Caterpillar fly? Well, she won't exactly be a caterpillar anymore. Ah, uh, I don't get it. You will tomorrow. Good night, Ben. Good night, Dad. <laughs> Morning time! <laughs> Where's Betty? Um, I don't know. But look at that. Ugh. What is it? Don't know, but it wasn't here yesterday. Hiya. Hi, Violet. Hi, Strawberry. Ugh. What's that? We don't know. It's a cocoon. Caterpillars make them. So, is Betty Caterpillar inside? Yes. But when she comes out, she won't be a caterpillar anymore. What will she be? Um, maybe a frog. A frog? Or maybe a bird. I see. Betty Caterpillar's going to turn into a bird. Then she'll fly. Ah, a cocoon. Get set. Go! We won! Goodness me! The winners are Ben Elf and Fairy Princess Holly. Thanks, Holly. No problem, Ben. Who'd have thought a fairy could win the wheelbarrow race? I can do this. Ooh. Gracious me, what was that? Dancing, gymnastics, and looking pretty. Very good. 
At the next Elf Games, we shall have dancing and gymnastics. And looking pretty. Yes, and looking pretty. <laughs> Baby Princess Holly can teach us how to do it. <laughs> yes, please. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Now we can fix the sails. Finished! Oh. Ah, is it dinner time already? Not really. Could you get me a bucket of custard and a big jar of pickles, please? Oh, and some plastic flowers. You're going to eat plastic flowers? No, that would be silly. They go with the windmill. Ah, good work, wise old elf. Thank you. Goodbye. Finally, I will need a little bridge, what? A plastic well, and a little picket fence. So he wants a bucket of custard and a big jar of pickles? Yes. Hmm. I knew it. I should never have used a gnome. What's wrong with gnomes? Oh, they make everyone else work while they just eat and sleep. Grumbling again, Nanny. I say, are we going on a picnic? No, Daddy. This is food for Mr Nine. What are we going to eat for dinner, Nanny? There's no food left, Your Majesty. The gnome has eaten it all. Nanny, remember that Mr Nine needs plastic flowers too. Plastic flowers? They go with the windmill. Windmill? I'd better see what this gnome is up to. <laughs> <coughs> oh, Ah, thank you, wise old elf. I couldn't have done a better job myself. Oh, look, a pretty bridge. I can... And now, the magic words. Sticks, moss and thistle down, make me a nest all cosy and round. Lovely. Can I get off now? Of course, Your Majesty. Look, there's a crack. Oh, Daddy, you've broken the egg. No, the egg is cracking on its own. The egg is hatching. Ooh. Oh, it's a little chick. Aww. Good. Now the mummy will hear the chick call and come to collect it and I can get back to my work. Look, the chick is following Nanny Plum. Usually the first thing a chick sees is its mummy. And this chick saw Nanny first. So it thinks Nanny is its mummy. <laughs> <laughs> I am not a mummy bird. The chick is hungry. Mummy bird must give it food. I haven't got any food. What do birds eat? Worms and insects. Uh, Gaston is an insect. Gaston? Maybe you should stand back a bit. We need to find some worms. How? With worm charming, like this. The worms think it is raining and come up to breathe. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Look, a worm! It got away! It just shows that you both need a lot more spell practice. Yes, Nanny, Nanny Plum. Plum. Fairies of your age really should be able to get a simple spell right. Yes, yes Nanny, Nanny Plum. Plum. Watch and learn. When you turned Ben into a frog, abracazobadee. You should not have turned him into a bird. Zabadizee. And certainly not into a rabbit. Abracazabadee. No, 
At the start, you should have made him Ben again. Abraka zobbidi zabbidi zee. Hooray! For you! I'm glad that's over. You see, girls? It's easy. Anyone can do it. OK. Can I have another go? No. If anyone can do it, I want to go. Oh, all right. Holly, give Ben your wand. But, but elves don't do magic. I'd like to give magic a go, just this once. That's the spirit, Ben. Er, uh, into frogs, abracazobody. Phew, for a moment I thought Ben was going to turn us into frogs. Abracazobody? Ugh, <laughs> 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 it's no good. Elves don't do magic. Hmm, maybe you just need a teeny tiny bit of magical help. Tricky trick trick. This young elf do magic. There. Have another go, Ben. Into frogs. Abracazobody. <laughs> hey, it worked. <laughs> Into birds. Zabbidi zee. And into rabbits, Africa Zabadoo. <laughs>